Hello, Hi. Nina. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nina and I'm back with Theo for a new, very short hairstyle. Okay, that's uh, very exciting. Yay! Yeah, you, you, you can't wait. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> ask you to turn. <laughs> okay, let's start it. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Hello friends on YouTube, we're gonna do Nina's hair again and I know that she loves ultra short hair because I love her because she loves short hair <laughs> and I'm very glad she's back to have a short hairstyle because I think this is the most wonderful hairstyle for her so it will be ultra short <laughs> and sexy and you know it <laughs> of course I start with protection And because it's a little bit the boy's hairstyle, we take a blue cape. And I decided to take off a, a lot of hair very fast. So it feels light. And enjoy. Take my large flat comb. Decide a line. For the French guys, we we we. Just go in with my clipper and clipper it short. Stay a little bit away from the skin because I don't have to get that deep in. Just make my first line, nice straight line. You can hear she has very thick hair. So for her it's wonderful to have short hair. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is uh, my latest clipper of Kione. And the nice thing about the Kiona clipper is that it gives you a lot of rest while you're working. When I would do this with the Panasonic, it hurries me up just by the noise. I can hear, let you hear the difference. This is a Kiona clipper. This is Panasonic. And this one has a, a really fast feeling and a lot of noise. Hold my comb flat on her head and take the hair that's on it away. The nice thing you see a light shade of color in the beneath lines. But what we're going to do is we're going to color her first with a bleach wash. So our color has to be uh, lightened up a bit and more sensitive for new colors. That's why I do that. Now I lay my comb flat on the head and I'll work this line out. The comb is preventing me from getting into the line where the skin is. I don't want to get that deep in. Otherwise I know what she likes and I know that she wouldn't like it when it lays like a thick flat hump of hair on her head. <laughs> Use my clipper as comb. This I do by putting my blades to the back. Cleaning in between. Get rid of some long hairs. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. My hair. Goodbye. Thank you for being on my head so long. <laughs> you were wonderful, hair. 
I loved you. My boy did also, my boyfriend did also love you. He liked to tease you. <laughs> you see that becomes a nice strong line. And I always thin out the hair a lot. Because she has a lot of hair. But she has lovely hair. Mm. Can use my clipper as comb. Mooi lijn. Echt mooi stoer is die. If you want to see the line from the front, it looks like this. <laughs> this part I'll take off. I can do it with a shear. I have to look where my shear is. Yeah. Tickles. <laughs> yes, yes, again. This part I'm certainly thin out a lot. It's also a rare schaar, this. Huh? Die heeft een heel stroeve gevoel. Yeah. Vroeger waren alle schaaren zo. Kun je nagaan. Tegenwoordig zijn ze allemaal heel mooi glad. Heel fijn werkend en vroeger waren ze echt heel ruwig. Echt een hele verbetering. Met een small clipper, I sharpen de line a bit. Make minor adjustments. Een echte Nina lijn dit. Dat is ook wel belangrijk. En jouw kapsel van de ster heeft ook nog steeds te houden. Ja, yeah, die blijft zo vet. Ja, yeah. heel veel negatieve, maar het zijn gewoon jaloerse yeah. pengen die erop leken. Ik heb er niks meer. Als het hard is, gooi ik het eraf. Ja. Yeah. Dom is, laat ik het staan. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> now create some rounding on the fall of the hair. So it's not let it lay as a, a strong line down. Just bend it a little bit by the natural fall. By peeling off some hair from the top. Very gently with my clipper. So it stays in a wonderful strong line. And that's the nice thing when someone has this thick hair, you can play with it. So it's lovely. It's just, just like making a statue, playing with clay. Coming on the center and go in it like the did, I did on the front. <laughs> I know Nina loves this song. <laughs> On the back I stay working a little bit in a disconnect, not much, this, just a disconnect of uh, a millimeter or two, three. So it just lays on the line of cutting. Put my blades again on the combing position. Cleaning a wonderful neckline. Cleaning in between. And now go to the other short side. And this I take with that side. Now I wet the hair a bit, not too much. 
because I have the part, the, the, the part between the longer hair and the shorter hair. And this is also where I decide to get my connection to the back because I don't want a hard line in this hard angle. So I just have to watch what the hair does. Part to the front, take the longer parts to the side. Now lay this in a natural fall. Coming at the short side. Work till I get to the place where I parted her. Of course it's ultra short. Creates a natural rounding in the connection to the back. Connected to the neckline. Put my clipper in a common position again. Get rid of all the long hairs on the contour. Standing a little bit in a strange, strange position because my camera is between me and Nina. It's very ultra safe for her, but <laughs> very strange for me to work so this way. But this is the best way to show you how I do this hair. And normally it goes even a little bit faster. And I love to work in the natural falls because when I wouldn't work in this side on the natural fall, she needs a lot of uh, um, gels to hold on the place. And now she can swing with her hair and go whatever she does, it goes always well. Okay, now I pull the hair to the short side and I have to know where I'm going. So I make a rounding into a hair so it connects to the part I cut on the back. This I lay back and now you see how wonderful the rounding is because then it falls in natural lines. Sticking out hairs, I just cut a little bit shorter. I don't need them. I mean, I also don't need them. Connect both lines and hold it on this side, ultra soft, because even uh, it's a hard connection, it's always a soft connection because it's short hair on long hair. And I love when it flows short into each other. And the connection here has to be ultra short because it holds all the hair to the longer side. And it gives also the feeling of the roundings of a feminine hairstyle. I know there are a lot of girls think it is not feminine, but believe me, you never know how feminine short hair is if you don't try it and believe me it's also wonderful to have short hair and i can know i have always short hair <laughs> but the, girl, the girls i know that had short hair and have short hair always come back to short just by the feeling of it it's wonderful to feel free all the hair to the back don't force it, just lay it nicely falling on the skull. Hold all the hair on this side and just correct the line a little bit. 
that's all. Now I lay it over the short line. I want to keep some length in the top hair because that I thin out a lot. So I only control if this line connects to each other. Take the hairs up. That point cut technique. Just take off small parts, not more than that. Coming to a prototype of uh, Kiona scissors, it's a new one with uh, large teeth. And this is a wonderful tool to play with. What I do is I part the first centimeter of hair there. I don't want sticking hairs because that I don't love in this hairstyle. From the spot here on the head, I take a rounding to the front. So I take over the skull a line to the front about a centimeter. I'll show you that also. So it connects, connects to this. this. This is about a centimeter of hair. That I leave apart because when you go thinning out, you don't want the sticking hairs on the top layer because the top layer covers them up and there you don't want them. Now I take parts of a half centimeter in the line of cutting. This I put to the front. Put my latest scissor in. And the nice thing about this scissor is it thins out a lot, but you don't see it. But uh, believe me, it works. Take a new centimeter. And so I work till I get all the hairs done. This gives a lot of playability into the hair. We don't do this, it's just a lot of hair on top. And I want playability in it. The nice thing is, it's even more sexy when it lays down. Now you can see her eyes between the hairs, so <laughs> you can see how lovely she is, even when she covers her head under the hairs. <laughs> it's always nice to play with. You can hear how wonderful thicker hair is because you can snick <laughs> snick. This part I work till I get on the center line of the skull. See how wonderful amount of hair is coming out. <laughs> Just watch through the hair if you think, I, can, I think all the uh, amount of hair is the same and I'll go to the front because I went to I get on the center so this part is thinned out but still I have this side of the head, there's still a lot of hair. So that I go attacking from the other angle. <laughs> this I'm going to start attacking from the back also. Again, go to the crown area. Be aware that there is about a centimeter of hair that can lay over the hair. So I part that away. So I have a little angle on the line of working. And I have a starting line, and this line is the same line as the eyebrow line, so that's what I'm working on. The same as I did on the other side, take about a centimeter, one and a half, and thin it out. And the nice thing about this is, so you don't have to be afraid, because you never see what you did, and still you did it. Rest the case. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, but you didn't see it. Thank God. And there were all the hairs come together. I 
even thin it out a little bit more. Again, working in a line, and you don't see it, but I work in the line of the chin bone now. And the further I go to the back, the more I bend down. It's the same way you can see there. Now I have wonderful hair to play with. Because for her it feels wonderful to have less hair. It's, now you can see what it does. When she brings it to the back, it's not even hard anymore. She can wears it ultra boyish, then you get it up and go to the back. And she can wear it ultra feminine, but then you just let it flow freely. So now I will start by making a bleach wash. One part 6%, one part conditioner and one part bleach. And that I'll wash in and show you the end result and then we'll bring on the color. Then I'll do it into the sink so I don't show you that. This uh, took about uh, what, uh, five minutes, so you see that it's lighting up a lot. So now I can bring on a nice new color. And what we never did on her was a real copper tone, so that's what we could get on it. It's a 749 uh, of uh, Lacme. I made it with uh, 9%, that is 30 volume, mm -hmm. and I put it in a deep conditioner for over here. The sides will be a Shoko Brown, and then a warm Shoko Brown, not the pure one. Starting on top, working till the I get to the line of the short hair. And so I'll bring on my color on top of hair. Okay, now coming to the sides, as you see I have uh, made a lot of mess on top of it. <laughs> now it's wonderful. Now I have my Choco Brown, that I bring in on the short sides. On this side I get a little bit higher. That I do because when you bring this down, this the line of her hair is harder. So then she has a softer connection to both colors. This is uh, <laughs> four point five three. It's also a reddish tone and a gold tone, so that's why it's a sugar brown. Made this with uh, six percent, twenty volume, and also with a deep conditioner in. I love the deep conditioner of Rofa hair. For those who are in the States, the Rofa is also available in the States. You have to find it on the web. And I make this a little bit darker to, to create a more strong hairstyle. But I love short hair and I like it when the hair is a little bit darker so you can see the strongness. When I would hold it in the natural colors, I would never color the sides. But now we go into an extremer color. So that's why I love to work in this way. This I will rinse out afterwards with a towel and with a bit of shampoo on it and then I go over the, the color. I don't rinse it out, just stay on so I wet in my towel and then I wash it in and then I massage it. Ah, coming to my world famous <laughs> attractions on colored hair, a carton wig. Lay it in the roundings of the hair, peel a part off, in between the upper hair and the under hair, I lay also a carton wig. Now close my plastic foil and I will heat it for 20 minutes and then we're back to show you the end result and the styling of this hairstyle. Thanks for watching. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Now I love it that you watch my videos. Especially the ones who learn from it. I love your comments on it and I love to teach you. Because I show you especially my love to be a hairdresser. That's why I do make YouTube videos. We'll be back. Friends were back, took 20 minutes and then we rinsed it out. Nothing else, just a little bit conditioner on it. And she has still wonderful hair. Uh, what I do now is so with my small clipper I clean the contour line. Small facial hairs. Now 
Now I'm coming to blow dry it. And, uh, I use on her a styling product a smooth of Lanza. <laughs> a smooth and a serum. No, I use a smooth of Lanza. A smooth uh, adds some more uh, moist products to there, give a little bit of rest to there, and by heating it, uh, it works better. I don't want to hold it small, not a big hair. So, go blow drying with uh, a medium brush. It's about uh, four centimeters across. Just polishing the air a bit. And the end result will be ultra playable because I love to see what you to see what she can do with her hair. How many she moves with it and play with it. So you can see what's all possible with this hairstyle. She doet wat we uitgedund hebben en hoeveel dat nog is. Ja. Zeker als het punt. Als het weer boven wordt en zo. We're talking about the, the amount of hair she has because we thin it out ultra a lot and you see the still she has a lot of hair because when you blow dry it with a brush you see the volume that there is in the hair. This is uh, maybe the, the classic look of uh, a short hairstyle, especially on Nina. So we're also talking about that it's not real what Nina lost because it's maybe too classic and too too strong but I'll show you this I will also make some photos and then we mash it up a little bit because that's what we both love the most <laughs> but I'm certain there are people who want it this way put on a little bit hairspray and then it's enough so I'll show you this hairstyle and then we mash it up a bit Was it the horse? Only this product <coughs> does nothing, just treats the hair. And <laughs> makes it smell ultra delicious. Nice. It's one of the finest products I know in, in the industry of hair styling products. So we'll make first photos of this. So she shows you what this is and then we mess it up. Nina, will you show them this hairstyle? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, what I'm going to use now is uh, a wax, Flanza. It's an ultra soft wax. Because she's also a girl... That's the wax. She's also a girl who loves to play with her hair. Wax, I'm making ultra warm between my fingers. I love to play with wax. Now bring it in to show you what all is possible with this hair because this is also a lovely hairstyle. This is a sexy look. <laughs> when you want to play with boys and you want to tease them, you always put some hair in front of your eyes. So you can hide when he looks, you hide a little bit. So that titles the feelings of men. This is a free hairstyle. 
for Nina. And I personally love the most just softly hanging down. Just a bit. Wavy, not too much. And not too smooth. Nina! You think you can live with this? Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, what you two of you and the rest of the world show the answer to it. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> we will see each other in the next video. Stay watching. Bye bye. Bye.